the solution to this kind of a situation is usually to do a transformation. In this particular case, we can take the log of all of the voltage values it always seemed a bit odd to me that you're allowed to do this, that you could just simply apply some function, any function you want to all of the data and still have the test be valid, but it turns out that's fine. As long as we apply the log function to every value, we're good to go. Data that tends to start with zero and go to infinity tends to have this kind of skewed to the right distribution. And that can usually be fixed with a log transformation. There are a couple other commonly used transformation. If you have counts of things, then taking the square root of the data usually works. Although sometimes if you have counts, it's better to just do a test like one of the chi-square or g-tests that involves counts directly. Also, if you are dealing with proportions, you can do the arc sine square root transformation where you first take the square root and then take the arc sine of that. However, usually in these situations, it's better to just use a logistic regression because proportion can generally be expressed in a form that is correct for logistic regression. So we have a situation here where it's data skewed to the right. We should do a log transformation. To do the transformation, it's fairly simple. We're just going to do a mutate operation and we will start with the red tipple, and we'll create a new column called log call for the log column. And that column is going to consist of the logs of each of the voltage values. So let's run that and we see here is our new column which has the logs in it. If we then do a histogram in a normal quantile plot, we can see that this fixes the situation quite a bit. This is much more normal, and this is much more straight. And the Shapiro-Wilk test now it produces a p-value that's nowhere close to 0.05. It's much higher than that. And we can do a similar transformation on the blue data. To summarize the situation, here's what the red data looked like before the transformation. We had quite a bit of skew, the really long tail to the right. The normal quantile plot was curved quite a bit upwards. After the log transformation, it's much closer to a bell-shaped curve. The normal quantile plot is fairly close to a straight line. Shapiro-Wilk has now gone up to quite a bit over 0.25. The blue distribution is really horribly skewed to the right with a really long tail and a really bunched up curve on the left side and also a very curved and wobbly normal quantile plot. The log transformation helped here. It's a bit closer to a bell-shaped curve, but we still have this lump over here. The normal quantile plot is a little closer to a straight line, but we still have this kind of S shape here and that's reflected in the fact that the Shapiro-Wilk test is less than 0.05. So we probably could get away with using these data because of the fact that the t-test is robust to deviations from normality, but uh, this particular situation is a bit questionable.